What else can I put on the blockchain? Well, I can put any kind of information on the blockchain. So let's put a document like this on the blockchain. This is the American Constitution. It's a document that describes how we want to govern ourselves. And these documents are important, especially in, in modern democracies. We need some kind of rule set or like every sports team has some kind of like, how do we actually deal with each other if there's some conflict or something like some kind of governance organizational document that says how we resolve conflicts and how we govern ourselves. So we can put that, of course, on the blockchain because we can put all information on the blockchain. And this is called, usually it runs under the idea of a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. And again, it's not the entire US constitution that I upload on the blockchain. I just upload this hash value here, which is a fixed size and I upload that, but it, it links. And we will talk about that when we go into what is the blockchain in the, in the next lecture. And we, will, we can link this to this kind of information here. Now, the cool thing is people became very innovative and there are many ways to govern ourselves. So here, this is a hierarchical structure. And that's how we usually govern ourselves. Usually on top of here, we put a white male, not, not sure, not sure why, but, but that's usually what we do. Uh, and then we govern organizations like that, for example, companies or bureaucracies, uh, organizations we govern like that. But that's not the only way we can organize an organization. There are many different ways you can come up with. Actually, that's a very interesting computational problem of how, and, and social science problem, political science problem of how to govern. And people became extremely innovative. These NFTs that I showed you before that were purchased for $50 million or $90 million. Actually, there were DAOs. There were groups of people that are together and said, we want to buy this digital good together. And everybody chimes, maybe you pitch in $5 and that's also fine. But then we all, all co-own this image. Maybe you on average own three pixels. Who knows? But then we also govern that together. And basically putting these tokens or coins in the middle is Kind of like saying, how much stake do you have in it often? But it doesn't have to be. You can program whatever you want. You can program the governance structure, whatever you want, because the blockchain doesn't care. You can put whatever you want on this blockchain here. And who owns this? Who owns the US Constitution? Well, the American people. It says it. We, the people. So the same as a DAO, whoever has a stake into that kind of blockchain, it could be a certain blockchain, call it the DAO blockchain, then everybody who has a stake in it owns the information that's on this blockchain. And that's basically the idea of a DAO. 